All right, guys. Um, so gonna cover what my main right now is. Um, so it is a human. Uh, if you uh, if you've been looking up builds, or if you're you know veteran new player, you're definitely gonna come across Demo Man. Um, and I would say a lot of his my inspiration on my build is stolen from uh, his raid boss build. Um, you know, mine's a little bit different. It's not quite as min maxi as his. I already had a Tindre, uh, Tindramic human that I was an arcane archer on. Originally started as a paladin, uh, and then I just transitioned him over to that uh, that raid boss build. And it's been working out great, and I love it. Um, if you started with like this here the spell fighter you're pretty close um, you're gonna have to do some work you're gonna have to bring your age up and shrink down but um it, it wouldn't be the worst thing it just depends on how many hours you have into it and you know i'll let you decide on that uh, but that would be the closest like preset um let's get into let's get into our custom build and i'll show you exactly how mine is and so i'm definitely not min maxing here because i am tint you know if i wanted to be like a um you know min max it, i could go to a uh sidonian um that would give me more intelligence my spells would hit harder but i'm not um and i have so many hours into the guy like i i'm, I'm just not going to ever change him so i made it work and i i think it's working great of having a lot of fun with it um, anyway, so we're going to start H2. We're going to shrink our ass down. And we're going to get our ass fat. Um, and so bulging is where I sit at. Uh, I played obese, and obese is going to give you 10 more intelligence, 10 more psych. So you could definitely get up there. Plus, I have like raw dex or raw int rings, um, which is great. Um, so I could get even higher, but I'm already pretty good. Bulging gives me more con, um, a little bit more dex, uh, which I like. So I use, uh, I use battle pets on mine. Obviously that's kind of the whole premise of the thing is casting and using battle pets. Um, overall, like I'm, I'm loving it. It's got with the battle pets right now, they're, they're pretty strong. They did get a little nerf in the last patch, but I still like their you know, if you learn how to fight around your pets, if you learn how to position yourself within a team fight, things like that, they're great. Um, what's really cool here is, and you'll see when I cut to it, is my um, my psych is maxed, my int is maxed, con, my dex is maxed, and I still have like 27 strength. So um, I can still rock a, a pretty good dagger. I'm, you know, going to be heavy armor. Um, I can rock a shield, uh, and I'll go over the that armor set and, and how that works for me. Uh, but if I was going to say, like, this is how you could start your build. Uh, if you wanted to, yeah, I, could, I would even start like this. Like, you'll be slower walking around. That kind of sucks. But uh, with the new changes um, to Haven and with the new changes to, like, just the talent systems, um, I think you, you'd be okay here. Uh, but yeah, let's cut to uh, Turok, which is currently my main guy. All right, so here's how I run my main right now. Um, and I'll go over this quickly as possible because this video could go on forever. I could talk about it. So uh, as you can see, I'm rocking draconian plate armor. So I have full armor training, full heavy armor. Um, and so this gives me great pierce resistance for mounted archers, um, which is probably like in a melee if it gets close, it, it's, it's pretty much over anyway. So I'm, I'm seeking that protection. I'm running flakestone silk. Um, I don't have like the greatest rings, but these, you know, I think I found or then I got you know, these raw int rings. Um, and my mental offense, this saves me just, you know, 46 points I probably spent. 200 gold on this you know like not nothing crazy um you can see i'm bulging um just giving me that health i got my dex my strength con my psych and my intelligence i think i can actually shrink down a little bit more i just haven't gotten around uh this guy started out as like max height so it's not fully min max you know i'll end up getting a few more strength it's just like it hasn't um it really hasn't like been a, I haven't been to Maduli since, you know, to buy more food. Um, now, somehow, I lost one point of experience, so my ecumenical is usually 100. Uh, I run Elementalism maxed out as well. 
Um, what's great about this now is before I what didn't have any amount of imagery, I've got to play with this a little bit. I think I probably can save some points by dropping this to like 75, because I think between 87 and 75, there's not going to be a difference. Um, you know, full mental, um, full vitalism. Uh, I don't run any blocking. Some mages do. I just know, like, if I'm in melee range, I'm pretty fucked. That's why I don't have any uh, daggers. Um, now, if I go into domestication, I do run 30 taming, just because I, I run 30 taming, 31 taming. All my characters, I, I hate being in a place where I can't actually tame uh, and get a horse and, and like, get home. Um, creature control, advanced creature control, have beast mastery. Um, right now, I think I just have... Hell yeah, yeah. Um, because I just basically use bears, uh, campadons, um, reptile. I'm gonna raise that. I, I don't know if I am. Like I, I probably will just because like, completionist in me because I got beast mastery once to unlock all this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you're looking at. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I could do a lot of like easy things, farming outlaws, you know, doing a firewall and because of my health pool and, and being able to rock a shield and heavier armor, I can stand there and tank those um those outlaws while they, you know, die in my firewall. Um, you know, I feed this guy uh battle pets from my tamer. Um, and what that does is that frees up points in taming and obviously for me. So if you have uh, a second character and you can kind of feed them over. Um, you know, it works out great. I could, you know, you could see here I can go up in armor weight, but like I said, I'm I'm really looking for that max pierce resistance. Um, if I want to, like let's say I'm riding around, I will toggle off uh, my shield and stuff, and that'll give me a little bit more mana regen. If I want to get crazy, uh, if I'm really trying to get mana regen and I'm not feeling at risk, I'll take off uh, my chest and my legs, and I'll do this while I'm on foot. Um, or, uh, you know, or on horseback or bareback or whatever. Um, uh, originally I didn't have mounted major on this guy. It's something like getting back into, it. um, basically I didn't have the points before because of sprinting. I dropped sprinting completely on this cause I don't need it for my armor training. Um, so now I can do mounted major. Um, before it was all about positioning, you know, just getting in position, how to range people down, um, and get my pet on them and stick them on them and really just fighting around the pet, you know, just making sure. And that's why I like the bear. Uh, the tour dog is, you know, really good. You know, it's faster. It hits just as hard. Um, this is, you know, the black bear. The bears, I feel like, are more annoying when you stick them on a melee or you stick them on a group. Um, they're just, like body blocking the fuck out of people. So um, I it has helped me, you know, get away from people, trap people in houses, you know, just bullshit like that. Um, just because their melee can't like fit between a rock or and my bear or something like that, uh, and then I can you know haul ass away. Um, obviously, I'm not the fastest, um, but it's worked out so far. This is definitely my favorite um, build I have. Um, highly recommend it. It is um, takes a little bit if you build it from scratch. It'd probably be cheaper, but like I had to shrink like a you know, a paladin down, I had to go up in age, so it, it all costs a little bit of money, the spells cost a lot, um, originally I did run, um, necromancy on him, so I, I just ended up not liking that, because I hate spirit farming, I really do, um, and I just went full elementalism instead of that, you could run a little, like, 50 elementalism and rock some, you could do death hand, things like that, you could get a little bit of, uh, this in there, um, and it would be really good. But yeah, overall, it trucks. It's good in team fights. It's good solos. Uh, PVE, it's great in. Overall, I I just really love the build. Um, highly recommend it. If you want to look at like where this stems from, you can go to uh, Demo Man's raid boss build, and that's pretty much how I came up with my version of it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions about it, please you know drop them below, and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, guys, have a good one.